Hi, everyone. I'm Josh Elliott. We begin now with the latest out of Afghanistan at this hour, where militants appear to have attacked American University of Afghanistan, again, located in Kabul. Local media there have been airing, among other things, this photo. It appears to show smoke that followed an explosion at the campus. CBS News has confirmed several American professors are trapped inside, along with students. Many, though, are also said to have escaped through emergency doors in uh, the buildings they're in. Several witnesses inside have also reported hearing a series of gunshots. We also have this tweet to share with you from an Associated Press photographer, and it reads, Help, we are stuck inside a UAF, a shooting followed by explosion. This may be my last tweet. Uh, to discuss this, we're now joined by Kathy Whitehead. She is the head of tolonews.com, uh, an Afghanistan uh, news service. Joins me on the phone from Kabul. And uh, again, Kathy, I know you're some five miles or so from uh, the campus. What can you tell us about what happened and what the latest is uh, right now? Hi, Josh. Uh, yes, it's an ongoing complex attack. So what's happened is there have been a number of explosions and armed gunmen that are inside the building, some of whom are believed to have suicide vests on. We don't have confirmation of that yet, but we do know that there are a number of students and a number of staff, including lecturers and professors, that are trapped inside and aren't able to get out. Now, what is the enrollment of the university? The, um, it's, it's largely, it's an Afghan population, it's young people that are there, the students, a lot of them are working people, but they in their 20s and they, they're there for higher education purposes, a lot of them are doing master's degrees, and um, they go, you know, they go to class after work when the, when the work day finishes at about 4 o'clock, they go, they head off to university. And there are probably a couple of hundred there. They're probably, we're looking at anywhere in the region of about five, six hundred at the moment, probably. Now, I, I know that this is uh, not the first incident even this month with regard uh, to the university. What is the state of security in place at, at the campus? The security of the actual campus is very heavy. They have, um, it's very well guarded. They have armed guards on duty. The, um, the, the campus it's, it's itself is surrounded by, by what we call T walls, which are reinforced cement walls. And um, what, what has apparently happened here is they've blown, they've used some sort of explosive device to blow an, an opening into this compound. We're not 100% sure exact from which direction or exactly where on the, on the, on the compound. But some reports indicate that the um, that the entry was an entry point was blown open in, in, at an adjacent school, and they were you know and that these gunmen went in from there. At what time of day did this occur? It, it um, happened shortly after 7 p.m. Kabul time, so it was about an hour ago. So just how uh, crowded? Uh would the uh, campus have been? How, how filled would those buildings have been with students and faculty? It, it would have been pretty, pretty busy. It's a pretty busy time of day for universities here because, you know, as I, as I mentioned um, just now, the, um, a, lot of, a lot of the students are working students, so they actually have jobs, mm -hmm. and then they go to university at night. So it would have been pretty busy. It's quite, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really quite a busy time of day. It would also seem to be, uh, it would certainly seem to be a, a certain sort of, of professor who uh, would take a, a job there as the faculty and students would certainly seem to be targets of, of a sort. Well, yes, and, you know, and you, as you mentioned, it's not the first time that it's happened. Just two weeks ago, there were two foreign professors that were kidnapped after leaving the university, they, one of them was an American and the other was an Australian, and their whereabouts are still unknown. We, um, you know, we haven't had any news as to what's happened to them, but they were kidnapped at gunpoint not far from the university the, um, about two weeks ago. So security, you know, overall is, is a little bit... Um, it's a little bit worrisome here at the moment. Well, and I know the, the Kabul police chief did uh, say that authorities uh, were responding to this incident. What can you tell us about that response? 
Yes, well, they've cordoned off the entire area, so no one's getting it allowed to get in or get out. Obviously, there's, you know, we've had reports that there, there are hundreds of people have converged as close to the university as possible because, you know, family members, relatives of these people that are trapped inside. But um, what usually happens with these complex attacks, they can go on for hours, and um, they, you know there will be gunfights will ensure, ensue between the insurgents and with the security forces. But they will also they usually also send in special forces and commandos as quickly as possible, and they they usually take control of the situation, and um, then you know bring it under control as soon as possible. Have we, I know there was uh, reports of gunfire and a series of, of explosions heard as uh, the attack uh, was underway, uh, but can you tell us, ha have, have we heard uh, gunfire, ha have, have there been reports uh, of, of hearing gunfire uh, that have continued throughout, which is to say, do we believe the attack is still underway within the complex itself? Yes, we have had reports that there, there is, you know, sporadic incidents of gunfire. Um, unfortunately, our, our journalists haven't been able to get close enough to the scene to actually, you know, get a, um, get, get, um, a clear view of what's going on now. But um, it definitely is still ongoing. And what can happen in, in, under these circumstances is you will get out, you will get these outbursts of, fire, of gunfire between security forces and the and the gunmen, and they can they can go on it can go on for a couple of hours until until they actually eliminate these insurgents. The you know the special forces actually shoot them because that is the only way to deal with them at this stage. Again, Kathy Whitehead of Tolonews.com uh, joining us uh, with the latest on uh, an apparent attack on the American University in Afghanistan located there in, in Kabul. Uh, Kathy, we do very much appreciate your time. And uh, again, as news uh, becomes available, uh, we do hope uh, to have you uh, continue to join us here on CBSN. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Thanks, Josh.